Hi, I'm Dis Bulik, and this is Call Meta, my entry into the Sovereign Data Hackathon. So when you hit the page, when you load it, the first thing it does is have you connect your wallet. It just does that automatically. If you're on the wrong chain, you can hit this switch button and it'll switch your chain, at least in MetaMask. Once you get past that, you get to a landing page where you can load your, you're editing a metadata file. And so you can load an existing file from IPFS. There is a list of files published to Ceramic in a document owned by a DID NFT. And users have the ability to mint tokens for themselves, giving them access to that list. So it's essentially a public list currently of uh, um, videos that have been published. You can upload a new video or you can enter some JSON 5. JSON 5 is just the essentially the vanilla JavaScript way of writing J, of writing JavaScript objects. You don't have to quote keys. You can use single quotes and you can have terminal commas on lists and a couple other things. It just makes it significantly easier to write. So um, yeah, so you can load a JSON five file directly. Okay, so this page shows metagame, the Metagame Builders Align, which is a roundtable discussion that happens once a week for Metagame, where each of the developers says what they did in the previous week and what they plan to do in the next week. And on the far left-hand side is a timeline, and you'll note that when I click in the timeline, it, it, the line intersects one of these boxes. This set of boxes is the same as the set of events on the right-hand side, but the size of the boxes on the left-hand side is proportional to the length of time that the event took. But the green bar on the right and left-hand side of an event means that that is the active event. And if I click an event, it will, you'll notice that the timeline seeks to that event and that the green bars move to the appropriate, the appropriate event, like the event that's currently selected. And actually, if I play the video, let me mute this. If I play the video as the timeline seeks, it will, you'll notice that it should switch. Yeah, see, it switched to the next event. As the timeline plays, It'll the green bars will track whatever the current position in the event is. So this is just each of the, each of the people who talked, and then the different symbols represent this was what they did in the previous week, this is what they're blocked on, and this is logistics. This is a speaker, and this was me. I was talking about ceramic here. But this is, the goal is to significantly reduce the amount of time that it takes to digest the pertinent information in the call. Like this call was a little over an hour long, and you can read through this document in definitely under 10 minutes. Um, once you're done, so you can edit the metadata about, you can edit the type of event it is, you can set in the timing when it begins. There's also roles that are tracked. For example... Um, the participant role, like I and Mikkel were on the entire call, so we have participants. And it's a tree to where different things are nested with the different events are nested within other events. And if you are a, have a role for a parent event, then you have it for all the children as well. But anyway, once you're done editing that metadata, you can hit Upload to Ceramic, and it'll bring you to this page where... Quote, to write your video to a public log, an access token is required. So you hit Mint 1. And I don't have enough Rinkaby ETH in that account. Let me switch accounts. But so... We'll just pretend that I minted a token and that I went through the process of minting. The minting should work successfully as long as you have rank of ETH. Once you get pat, once you have a token minted for yourself, you can click this. You can check. This is the IPFS hash for the metadata, 
and this is the title that it will be listed under. So I know this is going to be a duplicate, so I'll put duplicate at the beginning. This is a duplicate metagator, metagame builders align. And the, this time is the start time for the recording in the real world. If I hit right to ceramic, I now get, I sign into, it promised me to sign into ceramic. And now if I go back to the home page, there should be duplicate metagame uh, builders align. So this, any videos that are published to that page end up here. Real quick, I'm going to show the upload a video. Um, it just it works pretty much. So it uploads and then creates a new event, and it will based on the file name. If you if the file name is named with the date and then a dot and then a title and then a dot and then MP4, it will pull the title and the start time from the file name. Okay, uh, that's a really quick run through of what this program does.